What is up everyone? This is Abhinav Vyas and you have come to the best place for people who are new to programming or gonna get their hands dirty or people who have learned their first programming language but don't know what to do next. So if you're one of those persons, consider subscribing. So this is episode second of my Pygame tutorial series. In the lecture first, we talked about what are characters, how to move around figures in Pygame, how to draw figures and all of those stuff. So in this lecture, or in this episode, we're going to be learning how to restrict a character to the screen size that is the border of our screen. And also we're going to be learning about how to make a character jump. Like uh, you have seen that Super Mario game in this when you press the upper arrow key, the Mario jumps. Okay, the character is Mario. It jumps. So how to do that to our character? We're going to be learning that today. So before moving on, let me just first show you what we have created till now. Uh, okay, let me just run. So all of these code can be found on my GitHub repositories page and I'll link to that in the description. So till now we have this much like window and the and this is our square, which is our character. If I press the arrow keys, it moves according to those. Okay, so it is pretty cool. But uh, as I told, if I try to go off the borders, it allows us to do so how to limit to that. Okay. So now I told you in the last episode that it has something to do with the coordinate. Okay, so let me just tell you here. Okay, so if the user is moving right, so I'm checking one more condition according to it. I, I will not allow the character to go beyond the scope of the screen. So how to do that? Oh, actually, okay, we'll do it like 500 minus velocity minus, okay, width minus velocity. I hope that completely makes sense. So we are subtracting the width of a character from the size of the window. Actually, this is the screen size. You can see the width comma height. This is the screen size. We are subtracting width of a figure and the velocity from it. Okay. So similarly, it is uh, okay. And similarly, this uh, thing is also okay. We just need to replace this width with 500 and minus width. Okay. I hope that completely makes sense. So let's just again run our program. This time it should work. So if I move to the right, it doesn't allow me. So if I move to the up, okay. If I move to the top, it allows me. See, it doesn't allow me to go further off the screen. Okay, so if I move right, we'll, we'll check all of the possible cases. Okay, it doesn't allow us. And similarly, if you want to go down, so let, let me just check that whether it allows us to go down or allow not us to go down. Okay, so it doesn't allow us to go down. So we have limited our characters moving. Okay, we have restricted it to boundaries of our screen. I hope that is clear. So now how to make our character jump? Okay, how to make our character jump? So first of all, uh, let's just break down what actually a jump is. Okay, so if you have learned this in physics, this is basic kinematics. So suppose you are jumping off the ground. So you have jumped again and slowly, slowly you are accelerating towards the above position. That is the velocity is changing. Okay, slowly, slowly you are accelerating to the top or uh, from the ground you are accelerating in the air and a position comes where the acceleration becomes zero, where you are still for a just a moment of second and then you start to accelerate downwards. Okay, that is the jump. You move up with acceleration, you move up with acceleration, you stop in the air, then you again move down with acceleration. I hope that makes sense. So, so we're going to be implementing that, that here. So we have to define some variable here. So is jump, uh, is jump is equal to fall. So this is the variable that will check that whether we are currently jumping or not. Okay, that whether we are currently jumping or not. Uh, okay, whether we are currently, because if we jump, we have to limit this arrow keys, the up and the down arrow keys. We have to limit the use of this. While we are in the air, while we are jumping, we have to limit these two keys like, uh, Suppose I, uh, I'm pressing the space bar key to jump. So when the object is in the air, I do not want to allow uh, the object to move up or down with the arrow keys. I hope that makes sense. So is jump is equal to false because currently it is not jumping and jump count. So now I'll tell you in a minute what will this variable does and let's just take.
So now let's write the code for jumping in Python. So we have defined two variable here as is jump as false and jump count as ten. Okay. So now we need to res restrict. Okay, we need to restrict this two keys because while we are in the air, we do not want to move up and down. So I will write simple logic here. If not jump uh, is jump. If not, uh, sorry. If not is jump. If not is jump. Uh, then uh, this will be executed this up and we have to add one more parameter here as the space bar because we will be initiating the jump by a space bar so we'll write here pi game dot k underscore space k underscore space and when we press the space bar is jump shall be evaluated to true the value should, should be changed here and then what we need to write here is we need to write here else statement okay because the jump is true this will return to false then we will move on to the else statement okay in the else we need to use here while jump count is greater than equal to minus 10 okay minus 10 now why i have written minus 10 i will explain that just in a moment just have patience and we will be decrementing the y coordinate by some amount okay so what will be that amount the jump count squared and divided by 2 that means multiplied by 0.5 okay i hope that makes sense this much of the portion is the quadratic equation that i was talking about but it will just go because it is exponentially increasing if i just square common numbers like 2 then again square that number then things will get more complicated like 2 to 4 4 squared, 16. 16 squared, that is a bigger number. Okay, you get it? So this, so our object will like move completely off from the plane. Okay, and then we need to decrement the jump count operator. Jump count, okay, not operator, okay, I'm accidentally using that. Jump count, and if the jump count evaluates to fall, this will, this will again and again run. Remember, all of these are in the while loop. So, if the program fails me that is the jump completes so we have to again set the is jump variable to false and again set the jump count counter to 10 i hope that makes sense so let's run our code now if i press the space bar see so why is this happening why it is again moving up i told you earlier that the concept of a jump we first move up we stop and then we have to move down but it is like decrementing from the y operator so it will always go up so to handle that define uh op, define uh let's say variable here as negative equals i guess it should be one initially so if uh, we have to again check for a condition if jump count is less than zero okay if jump count is less than zero then we have to say neg equals minus one i hope that makes sense and we're going to multiply the neg number okay so now let's try to run this program again i think it will work now so let's just move it a bit down okay so our jump is like fantastic and remember i'm pressing the arrow keys up down arrow keys while jumping so it is not working because we have already handled that but we can use the right and the left and left arrow keys okay while in the air so i think it is like pretty cool you can design many games this is a very good concept to have to like what is jump basically because game development includes a little bit of physics not calculus just physics like basic kinematics what are collisions and all of those stuff you don't have to go in depth to those things but just have a basic idea of what happens okay what happens theoretically and how can we implement that in our program so i guess it is like awesomely clear in the next episode i'm going to be talking about how you can implement like real world characters uh not like real world characters the sprites which are the character images uh, just like in Mario game, the Mario image is a stripe. Okay, we will discuss all of that, how video works and what are frame rates, what are clock speeds in the next tutorial. 
if you got any value from this video then don't forget to hit that like button because every like counts and every like helps this channel to grow and i have created this channel for you guys only to understand the basic concepts and to have a clear understanding of what exactly is programming i stand for programming is not a subject it is a skill and i'm here to teach you that skill so we got like any literally any value just hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you were those one persons that i talked earlier in this video thanks for watching my video i'll see you in the next video